Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Alteryx tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the Summarize tool, which is one of the transform tools on the Alteryx tool palette. It's a very flexible and powerful tool. There's a wide variety of grouping and math and spatial related functions. Taking a list at the all the functions available in the configuration panel, you'll notice there's a wide variety of topics here depending on field type. We're going to walk through the example canvas and work through a number of different examples and look at how informative and easy this tool is to use. So we'll take a look here at the example canvas within Alteryx. One of the first things that we'll use this tool to do is to aggregate the spend column. So we have 90 records of raw data that we want to summarize and come up with a grand total for the spend. Taking a closer look at the configuration panel, we'll see that we have a listing of all of our available fields. In this case, we have 11 fields to choose from. And the field type is provided for each of these fields, which is important because some functions are only available for certain field types. In this case, the spend is a numeric field. So when we hit the add key, we can choose the sum function up near the top. We have the ability to modify the output field name, use the arrows to switch the order if there are multiple actions. And there's also a delete key if we want to remove a reference. So on the input node, we have 90 records. On the output node, we have one record, just the grand total of the sum of spend. The next function we'll look at are the min and max functions. And this time we're going to look at the join date, which is the last field in our data table. And this time, selecting the add key, first we'll select min, and second, select max. And because this is a date field type, we should get the first date in the data set and the last date. And if we wanted to modify those field names, we can. The third example is to use the summarize tool to perform a count. So we can see in the Alteryx environment that we have 90 records of raw data flowing into this summarize tool. If we need that as a data point to use downstream in our workflow, Using the count function is a really fantastic way to capture that data point and pass it along. Another great use for this tool is to create a list. So if we want to create a unique listing of all the cities present in this data table, we could select city and simply do a group by the first item in our list. And the output will show us an alphabetized list of all the unique group names. Now let's say we want a count of records by a group name. I can copy and paste, which will pull the first reference along for the grouping of city. And then we want to simply count the records that are present for each of those cities. So adding the count reference should give us two fields in the output. And now we can see how our 90 records are spread across each of our 12 cities. Another great use of the Summarize tool is to concatenate strings. So we may use a formula tool to concatenate pieces of text together. But if that text is provided to us in a vertical listing, then the Summarize tool can give us the ability to concatenate or put all that text together in one cell. When we choose the concatenate function, you'll notice in the bottom left-hand corner, there are concatenate properties. So if there's some specific formatting for how each individual item should be added to the list and how it should be separated, we can specify this here. We can rename this field as our first names. And we end up with just one record in one field, and all of those names provided to us in a comma-separated list. That's a really handy function if you need to 
perform that type of action within your workflow. And the last example we'll look at here is the basic math function. And this will look very similar to the output we might get from a pivot table. And you'll notice there's not a pivot tool within Alteryx, but you'll notice that by grouping desired fields, performing numeric string or spatial functions, depending on your needs, and then modifying the field structure after those new fields are created, you can create some great looking tables and replicate all of that functionality you would get from a pivot table in Excel. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.